Hey everybody and welcome to the Bullshit Party! And in this one we're gonna be reviewing one of the newest vehicles added to the game, the Benefactor LM87. And I hope I pronounced the name correctly, because it's uh, really kind of a stupid name. But in any case, we're gonna be looking at its exterior, its interior, the way it customizes in Los Santos Customs, and uh, ultimately I'm gonna be telling you if it's worth it! And also we're gonna be taking a look at its performance, but I'm assuming it's gonna be good for the price it costs. And with that... 360 around the vehicle while I give you some facts about it. First off, as I mentioned before, it costs a pretty penny. It costs a little bit less than three million dollars, which makes it one of the most expensive vehicles in the game. And in one of my earlier videos today, I actually thought this was the McLaren F1, which I know, stupid, stupid bullshit. Now, in terms of interactivity, this is what you can do with the vehicle. You can open well, basically everything. You can open the hood, the trunk, the doors, and uh, yeah, really impressive. And I really like the slick racing tires, really fitting to the vehicle. As for uh, uh, the customization, I can only hope that it's going to be good when we go to Los Santos Customs. But for now, the exterior is, uh, well, I gotta say, the exterior is really good. Which begs the question, what does the interior of the vehicle look like? Well, let's find out. And this is the main reason I actually uh, thought this was the McLaren F1. It has only one seat. So if you have a friend, I guess your friend can sit in your lap. Which is not a problem that I have since I don't have any friends. Anyway, uh, the inside of the vehicle is unique to it, which is something that I rarely say about vehicles in GT Online, but it's something that I really like about this one. As for the way it sounds... That's just nasty. And uh, in terms of the lighting situation, you can turn on the headlights, you can basically... It's, it's not impressive. Anyway, on to Los Santos Customs. And on our way there, I'm going to be sharing with you my thoughts and impressions of the stock version of this masterpiece. But first, what type of drivetrain it has. And no surprises here, it's a rear-wheel drive vehicle, which I believe is also the type of drivetrain the original uses. Or rather, the one that inspired this one, the Mercedes C11. In case you're not aware of the real-world version of this car, but uh, in any case, uh, so far, so good. The handling is... Well, actually, it handles quite nicely for a rear-wheel drive vehicle. It corners... As well as you expect from a vehicle with such a big wing in the rear. Of course, the driver sucks, but nothing we can do about that. The one thing that I'm really concerned is uh, what kind of customization we're going to have when we get to Los Santos Customs because so far, vehicles that I've seen from the DLC, the customization sucks. Which I hope is not going to be the case with this one, but you never know. As for acceleration and top speed, they're both decent. The brakes are actually surprisingly good. But uh, well, let's see what we can do in Los Santos Customs. Something that I didn't mention before is that this vehicle is a part of the super car class category in GT Online. As for how much you can sell it for, ta-da! Uh, basically, you can lose $1.2 million when buying and selling it. So, if you want to flip it, that's probably not the right vehicle for you. Now, we're going to upgrade all the performance options. Whoops. All the performance options. Okay, this is really weird. I saw this in another vehicle from this DLC. You go into the en engine option, and then you have to select the engine option again. I guess the vehicle originally had, um, uh, what you might call it, uh, visual customizations for the engine, but they took those out, and they were too lazy to change the menu. Uh, is that why the DLC was delayed by one week? I don't know, but it's really sloppy for for a game of GTA 5's caliber. Anyhow, uh, customization, customization, uh, just in a bit, uh, suspension, transmission, there we go, turbo, and we're done with uh, the uh, performance upgrades. Now, it's off to see what type of customization we can do on the visuals, and the first one is the exhaust, which is kind of worrying. Wow. What in the actual 
F is this. Okay, I think I like this one the best. And that's not saying much. Oh my god, you can you can change the radiator that nobody can see? How cool is that? You can change the trunk. Or as they call it the hood. Even though there's nah, never mind. Uh, so far I've been really let down by the customization from every vehicle that I've seen from this DLC. Okay, I guess we're gonna spend ten thousand dollars on that. Leveries. Always a good way to spend money. Also known as wasting it. The side mirrors are exactly the same. All of them are exactly the same. The only thing that changes is the material they're made from. Really lazy. Mud guards. Actually kind of like those. So we're going to be putting them on. This is what I was talking about earlier. You see plate and then you go license plate. No, what other plate I can change? Please let me know. Yeah, this is just some leftovers from uh, when the vehicle had more customization, I think. But, yeah, in any case, it is really sloppy. Okay. Uh, side skirts. Yeah, th the best way I can describe the DLC so far is... Uh, it's, it's just sloppy. Okay, the front splitter is something we can change. I'm actually surprised they didn't call this the front bumper option. Okay. I don't like any of those. Spoiler! And it should be noted here that the traction bar is already maxed out, so I have no idea if this, in fact, impacts the traction of the vehicle. But um, it's basically stupid-looking spoilers. There, there isn't one spoiler that I like so far. Alright, so let's go with the stupidest and biggest one. The shiniest one. Suspension. Of course, we're gonna go with the lowest one possible, since this is a... Uh, that's a racing car, basically. Turbo wheels, uh, keeping those, windows. Yeah, why not? And we're off to respraying the vehicle. Let's see now. We can respray the vehicle. We can make it. What do you guys think? What color to make this one? I'm thinking something light. Oh, yeah, this is kind of cool. Secondary color, matte. I okay, kind of like the how the green looks. We can't put the Bullshit Party logo on it, which is really disappointing. So, let's exit Los Santos Customs. Okay. So far, I have a few thoughts about the vehicle. The customization really sucks. Uh, it's uh, It was done incredibly sloppily. And, uh... Yeah... Well, I'm, uh... <laughs> I don't know exactly what to say. I mean, the vehicle sounds incredible. Its acceleration is decent. The top speed, from what I can tell so far, is very good. It might be one of the fastest vehicles in the game in terms of top speed, or at least in its category. The brakes are good. The driver, not so much. But, uh, yeah, three million dollars for this? I don't see it. To be perfectly honest, I just don't see that. I mean, it's uh, it's not a bad vehicle, but maybe if it was like 1.5 million, I understand that inflation gets us everywhere. But come on, Rockstar, three million dollars for this? Are you nuts? Especially with this level of customization? No, I, uh, I I gotta say this one is just not worth it. You can find better vehicles in this category for much less than can that that can uh, have much better customization. I I just don't see it with this one. I mean, if you're a fan of the original, I guess. But the fact that I don't know, you, you can't even transport people with it. Or you can. I'm I'm just being an idiot right now. Maybe maybe there's a. Let's see. Actually, let's see. No, no, you can't. I was thinking maybe there's like a back seat, like in the McLaren. There, uh, if you are familiar with the McLaren F1, there's one seat over there and one seat over there. Basically, it's a three-seater. But uh, yeah, that's uh, not the case with this one. So I guess you're stuck being alone, 
forever and ever and ever which is not a problem for me since I'm already used to it but uh, on that happy thought we're ending the video thank you so much to everybody that watched hopefully you found the video informative or helpful and if that's the case please don't forget to leave a like please subscribe to the channel more reviews to come and with all that said and done I'll catch you all in the next one There, like nothing happened.